Howdy YouTubers. We're down here at my cousin's house. He's got a broken 70 inch Vizio TV. Um, you can see a picture on the screen, but you really got to look for it because, well, the backlighting's out. So we're going to quick pop the back of this set off, do some quick diagnosis, and see if we can figure out what the problem is. No sense in throwing away mostly perfectly good running 70 inch TV. So, there's a whole bunch of screws around the outside. We're going to pop all those out first. And then we're going to look for screws around the um, uh, video plug-in sources. So, time to get going. We're going to throw all our screws just in a little cup. Never use a power tool to put this thing back together. Most of these screws go into plastic. I am doing this for the sake of removal. It's going to be fairly quick and cumbersome anyways if I did it with a screwdriver. So I will be putting it back together with a normal screwdriver and not a power drill. Power drill just to speed things up for removal. All right. Just gonna start lifting and prying. Lift it all the way down. Bounce it lightly as we go. Let's go back to this side. to a TV is there so we got the main board this powers or puts out your video display operates your clicker your um, your side panel buttons all that runs through your main board this board can have some high voltage in it so definitely don't be working on these while plug in a little hard to take the panel off with the plug in anyways so we're going to look over the board for these black round things here, or brown, they can come in various colors, but they're going to be round. And we're going to look at the ends of them. 
Some of them might be bulging, and that indicates that we have a bad board. Sometimes you just can't tell. All right, so what we have here actually appears to be a healthy board. All of the capacitors are good. Okay, so this set also has an option to replace the LEDs. Which, not really sure where they're at. This is the LED voltage. This is right here on the board. LED V1, minus 1, 2, plus, minus 2. So this wire feeds the LEDs. So the LEDs should be at this end of the TV, hence all these little screws. Oh goodness. Should be something we can replace, but we have wires here, so we're gonna test for voltage at the wires. Um, you wanna come bring that camera over here? Hold it. Yeah, just lift it straight up. Pause it first. Okay. Whatever. Alright. Now we've got the TV plugged in to the wall because we got to test the board. We're going to be very careful not to touch the board at all now that it's plugged in. Power up the set. Okay, sets on. Let's go back. Give it a second. Fiber optics on. Okay, we definitely have power here. So let's go back down the voltage. It's gonna run at least should be twenty-four volts, maybe forty-eight. We got nothing here. Nothing here. You know. This thing is just dead. Can you see the voltmeter? It's nothing. And this is the DC side of the board. I guess we got juice in the capacitors. 12 at 4 there, but something bad coil, probably. I don't know. All 
This is all the further diagnosis I'm going to do on this because no voltage. So, thank God. Um, that means we don't have to change the LEDs. LEDs are really not fun to get to, as I'm already questioning how to get to the ones on this. Um, thousands of little screws hurt. May seem to be thousands of little screws. There, there. Get them all up in the lip. Got to get the back frame off. LEDs, you don't want to, yeah. It's almost fatal for a set, to lose a set of LEDs or your backlighting. So in this case, it appears it's going to be the power board. So we're going to go on eBay or on shopjimmy.com. They're not sponsoring this, by the way, but I find them a good, reliable site for parts. Um, so we're going to find this board for this Vizio on Shop Jimmy and we'll give you an update from there. Thanks. Like if you like. Subscribe if you subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Give me your thoughts and opinions on this. Is it worth it?